James Moorhead was born on May 24, 1797, near Shepherdsville in Bullitt County. His parents were Armistead and Lucy Latham Moorhead. The family soon moved to Russellville in Logan County. During his youth, he studied at the local schools. He then went to Transylvania University. He studied law under John Crittenden and Judge H.P. Brodna. He was admitted to the bar in 1818 and opened his law office in Bowling Green. He married Susan A. Roberts on May 1, 1823. They had two children. Moorhead supported the Old Court, which was still a controversial topic in Kentucky's politics. He was a state representative for Warren County from 1828 to 1831. He was elected Lieutenant Governor of Kentucky as a National Republican over Benjamin Taylor, the Democrat, an election that was full of fraud. During the 1832 election, the Democrat, John Breathed, won the governor's race. Two years later, Breathed died in office and Moorhead was sworn in on February 22, 1834 as Kentucky's 12th governor. Moorhead got little accomplished as governor. He was more of a placeholder. He did not push forward on education even though there was a local push with education organizations being formed. The Panic of 1837 hindered his economic plans. He did help complete the change of the National Republican Party to the Whig Party. He favored judicial reform, but didn't pursue it. And sadly, he was against abolitionism. But he was in a slaveholding state, so that was an easy stand for him to take. He declined his party's nomination to run for governor in 1836 and left office after his term as governor ended. This was not the end of his political career. He was a representative in the Kentucky House from 1837 to 1838, and he was in the U.S. Senate from 1841 to 1847. On national issues, he was for the federal bank bill, he opposed the annexation of Texas, and he supported the Mexican War when it began. Moorhead and John Speed Smith were chosen as commissioners to the state of Ohio to secure the return of Kentucky-owned slaves as property of their masters. They were successful in this endeavor. Once he did give up politics, he practiced law in Covington until he died on December 28, 1854. He is buried in the Frankfort Cemetery. I hope you've enjoyed learning about James Moorhead. He was the first governor of Kentucky who was born in Kentucky. Ironically enough, he wasn't elected to be governor. When you look at his actions, it seems he may not have wanted to be the governor. He became the governor by unsuspected events, and then he didn't run for re-election. Overall, he did not get much accomplished with his time as governor. Moorhead in Round County is named for James Moorhead. Don't forget to try out audible.com slash kwhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and share this video and the Kentucky History Channel for more Kentucky history content. If you want to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kwhistorypod. Find us on Twitter and Facebook at kwhistorypod and Instagram at Kentucky History Podcast. And don't forget to check out the Kentucky History Podcast for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.